Hello and welcome to Footsteps 24-7. Thank you very much for clicking through to the video and we hope that you really enjoy it. Do you know what? Autumn has to be one of my most favorite seasons of the year. And I think it's because of this. It's the shedding of the old and allowing the new to come shining through. On the ground, you see the brown leaves and up in the trees, you see the gold and the greens and the, and the yellows. And it's absolutely spectacular. And what a wonderful thing to come out with your family and explore the countryside and see this beauty shed all of 2021 in preparation of 2022. Wonderful. Hello, here we are at Rayleigh National Trust. Never been here before. This channel is called Footsteps 24 7, and what we do here is go to National Trust, day trips, and all manner of different things that might be of interest to you and your family if you're going to go out and about. So today we're at Rayleigh in Essex, and it's a National Trust. We've never been here before, and we're going to find out what's here so that you can come to. Like most early Norman castles, Rayleigh was built using timber on the top of a moat, Earth Mound. Standing between the River Crouch and the River Thames, the castle was the first line of defence, standing against the invading armies marching on London. Although you might not think it today, the mountain surrounding lands of the remnant are early medieval wooden moat and bailey castle built by Swain, Sheriff of Essex. With the castle long gone, the area is now an urban wildlife haven and green lung in the heart of Rayleigh town centre, offering sweeping views across the Crouch Valley. In the summer, the mount provides a perfect backdrop for dramatic open-air theatre productions, making the most of your day by also visiting the adjacent sensory garden and windmill home to fascinating historical exhibitions. Mm. The Castle Moat, now known as a mount, was given to the National Trust by Edward Francis in 1923 and is a scheduled ancient monument. to explore here a lot of walking paths for you explore and see and and get lost <laughs> Rayleigh may have started small, but it soon grew to show off the power and influence of its owners. At first, the ground between Swain's Moat and the nearby Rayleigh Windmill were all the same level. It was raining earlier on this morning, and uh, we didn't really want to get out of bed. But I'm glad we did, because the bright sunshine is out, and it's good to get exercise on the weekends. Rayleigh is quite an interesting place. It's quite hilly, but they've got loads of steps, as you can see right here, just there. Essex has actually got quite a lot of National Trust sites that you can visit over the weekend. And if you're interested in the preservation of local wildlife, this is a protected area for badger sets. until end of October. Far from its early use, Rayleigh is today a valuable five-acre haven for wildlife and a quiet retreat filled with bird song and flowers. So they got a windmill here, which is quite interesting. So we're going there right now, just to have a little nose, a little peek. It's open to the end of October for anybody that's interested. And uh, we're gonna get some drone shots, hopefully. Should be quite interesting. Just like a stranger. Because it's autumn, the, uh, the greenery is really quite colourful with the yellows, browns, and quite dark greens as well. I love autumn because it is so colourful and so interesting. And when you come here, or you go to the woods or anywhere, it's just it's just kind of magical in a way. From April to September, you can discover more about the Mount story by visiting Rayleigh Windmill in Billingham Lane. Yeah, it kind of does look like you could.
So this is Rayleigh Windmill. And it's taking us about 20 minutes to find it, even though we were following directions and asked a few people along the way, we still couldn't find it. But actually it's in the town center, easy to find for those <laughs> who've had their breakfast. The Rayleigh Windmill is a popular tourist attraction in the windmill you can find a museum, an exhibition, space and information about Rayleigh Mount. So it makes for a great educational visit. It's also available for weddings and other celebrations as well. Everyone is welcome to explore the 212-year-old Grade 2 listed building. You can learn how the windmill works and try the quiz in the museum, as well as dress up in traditional costumes and find out about the castle that once stood on Ready Mount. Be sure to look out for special events throughout the season. Visit England has accredited the Rady Windmill as a quality assured visitor attraction. Visit England is a national body that assesses visitor attractions throughout the whole country. And after the windmill and the old mount, why not go to the old sweet shopper as well and get yourself some sweets and refreshments. Absolutely, so much to choose from in this place. It takes me back to my childhood. I don't know about you. If you've enjoyed the video, why not leave a comment? Tell us if you've been to Rayleigh Mount, what you've discovered there, and what time of year did you go? Decisions, decisions. Ooh, jelly beans. Love them. The cashier actually noticed that I had a camera and said, oh, is that a family YouTube channel that you've got there? And I was like, uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't know why, I got a bit embarrassed. Sorry about that. Well, we hope you enjoyed this short video about the National Trust, and we're going to put another video of National Trust right here. Oh.